people come and visit the family. Words are made of letter people. A, B, C, D, follow me. The letter people. Today, meet Mr. C. Boy, oh boy, Miss You. Did you hear the news? Did you? Did you? Boy, oh boy. Get a hold of yourself, Mr. B. What news? Boy, oh boy. There's going to be an amateur night at Ms. I's Itsy Witsy Ice Cream Club. She's looking for a new singer. A new singer? Why? Because she wants to go on a vacation and somebody has to take her place. Boy, oh boy, this could be my big chance. Boy, oh boy, I wonder what that could be, Miss You. I don't know, but it sounds like it's coming from over there. Let's go see. Ah, yes, more customers. Cornelius Corn phones the name, raucous comedy, and virtuoso calliope the game. Cluster round, folks, cluster round, but don't crowd. There's plenty of room for everybody. And speaking of bodies, you know, my brother's so thin that when he takes a shower, he has to run around to get wet. Just a little humor, friends. <laughs> No need to get ugly about it. Now? Can I do it now, Corny? Not now, my boy. Where's your patience? In the waiting room? Nick, Nick. Can't you see I got these people in the palm of my hand? I wonder who he is, Mr. B. He looks so sad. I'll never get a chance. You know, I was walking down the street the other day, and I happened to spy a man falling 17 stories onto the sidewalk. I rushed up to him, and I said, what happened? What happened? And he said, I don't know. I just got here myself. Come on, Corny, you promised, you promised. Not now, you're throwing off my cadence. Stop me if you heard this one. A gorilla walks into a barber shop with a dog under one arm and a jar of peanut butter under the other. The barber says, you can't bring that dog in Let's here. go over and introduce ourselves and see if we can cheer him up. Boy, oh boy, what a great carnival. Do you work here? Yeah, I do. We haven't seen you around before. Welcome to Letter People Land. I miss you. My sound is the same sound that starts Upsy Daisy Umbrella. And this is Mr. B. And my sound is the same sound that starts beautiful buttons. Who are you? I'm Mr. C. And my sound is the same sound that starts cotton candy. Boy, oh boy. You sure are lucky to be working here. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, I guess I am lucky. Cause, well, this is no ordinary carnival. Everything here starts with the same sound that starts cotton candy. Even the word carnival starts with my sound. Listen, carnival, cotton candy. Carnival, cotton candy. Both words start with the same sound. You kidding? Everything? Yeah, everything. Come on, I'll show you. Boy, oh boy, what's that? What's that? What's that? Surely you jest, my nearsighted young friend. I'm a camel, young man. Dromedary. Ship of the desert, that sort of thing, you know. Late of Her Majesty's Royal Bengal Lancers. 5th Regiment, 6th Brigade. Major. Retired. Presently in the service of one Cornelius Cornpo. You may address me as Claude. Camel? Yeah, camel. And camel starts with the same sound that starts cotton candy. Camel, cotton candy. I didn't see you at lunch, Claude. Are you hungry? Would you like a cracker? I left some in your tent. I'd walk a mile for a cracker. Ta-ta. Boy, oh boy. Say, Mr. C, what's that over there? Oh, that's Clancy. Clancy's a crocodile. And crocodile starts with the same sound that starts cotton candy. Listen. Crocodile, cotton candy. Crocodile, cotton candy. See how they have the same starting sound? They sure do. Cotton candy and crocodile start with the same sound. Did you finish your carrots, Clancy? Yeah, how's about a cheese boy gonna wash it down? Oh, you're such a card, Clancy. Oh, hey, it's almost 12 o'clock. What's so special about 12 o'clock? I'll show you. Oh, I see. It's a clock. But what's a clock doing in a carnival? It's a very special clock, Miss You. It's almost 12. Now watch what happens. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! It's 12 o'clock. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Boy, oh boy, there's something you don't see every day. Very unusual. Yep, that's a cool clock, all right. Clock, cotton candy. Clock, 
cotton candy. Clock starts with the same sound that starts cotton candy. You see, everything in this carnival starts with my sound. Wait a minute. I know something in this carnival that does not start with your sound. What's that? That funny piano over there. He's right, Mr. C. I'm afraid piano does not start with the same sound that starts cotton candy. Listen. Piano, cotton candy. Piano, cotton candy. See, it's not the same sound. Well, this isn't the piano. It's called a calliope. Calliope, cotton candy. Calliope, cotton candy. Calliope does start with the same sound that starts cotton candy. That's a capital C on the calliope, but I don't know what that other thing is there. What is it, Mr. C? Why, that's a lowercase c. Both capital C and lowercase c make the same sound that starts cotton candy. Well, howdy there, folks. Terrific carnival, don't you think? Who's your friend? Mr. T, I'd like you to meet Mr. C. Mr. C works here at the carnival. I do, partner. Nice to see you. What are you looking so down in the mouth for? Don't you like working at this terrific carnival? Yeah, well, I like taking care of the animals and being around them, but that's not what I really want to do. Why, what's that, Mr. C? Well, what I've really always wanted to do is sing. Why don't you then? Well, Cornelius promised me he'd give me a chance, but he never has. I don't know what would pick you right up. Let's hit this new fella with a little round of the catching game. Okay, I'll, I'll be the host. Now we need a contestant. Hey, how about your camel friend? Good idea. There he is. Claude, do you want to play a game? I'd be delighted. Terrific. Now let's get going. Okay, we got the clue boxes. We got a contestant. We got the letter people. And we got a host. What else do we need? What about a word? Good idea, Miss You. Let's see, now, what will we use? Boy, oh boy, how about that baby bear over there? Okay, Mr. Camel fella, sir. <laughs> you know what they call a baby bear, don't you? I believe the preferred word is cub. Right you are. Now sound out the word cub and tell me who you'll call out to get into the starting clue box. Cub. Oh. I think I might say, without too much fear of being corrected, that the sound I hear is the same sound that starts cotton candy. So I'll call out Mr. C to get into the starting clue box. Right again, Mr. Camel. Now who are you going to call out to get into the catching clue box? Cub. Cub. The catching sound I hear is the same sound that starts Upsy Daisy Umbrella. So undoubtedly, it is Miss You. Miss You, come forward and take your place in the catching clue box. Now that's real good. You're going like a house of fire. Now, who are you going to call out to get in the ending clue box? Hmm. Cub. Cub. The ending sound I hear is the same sound that starts beautiful buttons. Mr. B, do be so kind as to enter the ending clue box. Now, hold on just a little bits a minute. We're going to see if you're right. Letter people, make your sounds catch. Cub. Let's not be too hasty. One more time, little people. Cub. Wee-o. Oh. You are some smart fella. <laughs> and thanks for playing. Quite to the contrary. It was my pleasure. And you, Mr. C, for a newcomer, you sure know your way around the clue box. Boy, oh boy, why don't you stay here and let her people land? Yes, we certainly could use your sound. Yes, siree, we sure admire to have you stay. Well, the catching game's a lot of fun, and it's real nice of you to ask, but... Well, staying with this carnival may be my only chance to get to sing. Carmen Miranda, what are you doing? Don't lean on that calliope, you'll throw it out of tune. It'll crab my big chance. Big chance? What do you mean? It has come to my attention that Miss I, owner of the world-renowned Itsy Witsy Ice Cream Club, is holding auditions for new talent this very eve. Yeah. That's right. The auditions. I forgot all about it. Mr. C, this is just the chance you need. Oh, oh I, I don't know. 
All those people? I've never sung in front of a crowd before, but, but maybe I could. Well, yes, yes, I think I can. I will. Let's go on with the show. I'll do it. Oh, I knew you'd like that one. You know, a guy stopped me on the street the other day and said, Pardon me, sir, but could you spare a dollar for a cup of coffee? I said, a dollar for a cup of coffee? A cup of coffee only costs 15 cents. He said, can I help it if I'm a big tipper? A gorilla walks into a barber shop with a dog under one arm and turned peanut butter on the other. <laughs> well, folks, I think we'll certainly agree that Ack wasn't born here, but it certainly died here. <laughs> now, looking over this evening's entertainment, and I use that word loosely, <laughs> we had Mr. B and his beautiful buttons, which set a new world's low on the applause meter. <laughs> and we had Mr. F and his fancy dancing feet, <laughs> and we hope the swelling goes down real soon. <laughs> and now, wrapping it up, we have a newcomer to let her people in. So let's have a big hand for this young fella. Here he is, Mr. C. Well, hello, friends. Do you know me? Well, you can call me Cotton Candy, Mr. C. A candy kid who'll change your luck. For if you stick with me, you'll find you will be stuck. all for you how you can count on me there's nothing i wouldn't do for you <laughs> i'm clever can't you see and cunning as can be and cool as a cucumber i am mr c for you i cry and go to bat you can count on me like a child alley cat i'm cute and sweet Just a cloud of cotton candy, Mr. C. Oh, I'm a cotton candy culprit. Can I, can I, coo, coo, coo. Knocking. And of course, you'll be appearing regularly on the catching game, <laughs> of which I am the star. <laughs> and while we're on the subject, I'd like to talk to you about doing a little musical special on my TV show. Thanks, Mr. Swell. It's, it's everything I've always wanted. I get to sing and make words with my own special sound. Great job, son. Boy's always been like a son to me. I told you I'd give you your chance when the time was right. I'm proud of you, my boy. And since I'm the boy's manager, I think you and I should chit-chat about the deal. Huh? Step oh. over this way. Oh, all right. oh you know, you know, a gorilla walks into a barbershop with a dog under one arm and a jar of peanut butter on the other.